Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to learn four quick tips to improve your efficiency in the develop module inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you join us in our free private Facebook community so that you don't miss another live video. I'm going to begin with this photo by applying my favorite preset, that's Susie's favorite that I apply to every photo. The link is below. And then I want to make some refining adjustments over in the basic panel. But have you ever had this problem where you're clicking and dragging and you're not able to refine this as much as you would like? Well, a quick tip is to place your cursor on the edge, drag your panel as far to the left as possible, and you will be able to select more finer increments of these sliders, which is a very useful tip. Did you also know that if you hold down shift and double click on any of these words, you can ask Lightroom to automatically select the best settings for this image. Now Lightroom isn't going to always get it right, but many times it can give you a good starting point. A keyboard shortcut that it can help improve your speed in the basic panel is to press the period key. And when you do that, you'll notice that Lightroom is cycling through those sliders in the basic panel. I'm gonna press it one more time to land on exposure. And now that I'm there, I can use the plus or minus keys on the keyboard in order to adjust that exposure. And then I could really quickly just press the period key again a couple of times, say to get to the shadows, and use the plus or minus key on the shadows to adjust it without having to use my mouse. And finally, the last tip is that if you have all of your panels open in the develop module inside of Lightroom, it can get a little bit confusing. You have to remember where things are at and you're spending a lot of time scrolling. And my theory is that scrolling kills people. So what I'm going to do is collapse all of these, expand just the basic panel, and then right click and choose solo mode. Now, if I go to expand the tone curve, the basic panel will automatically collapse for me and so on. And the keyboard shortcut in order to expand these panels is by holding down command on the Mac, that's control on the PC. And if you press zero, that will show or hide your histogram. Command or control one is the basic panel. Command or control two is the tone curve. Command or Control 3 is the HSL sliders and so on. And you can actually get pretty adept at using those once you memorize them. Hey, let me know in the comments below what your favorite tip was. I find all of these to be really useful and they help me to improve my efficiency. I'll see you in the next video.